Hey, Coach, um, you always talk about you know the need for improvement, and the Rockets have actually been the number one defensive team in the playoffs, and they were top two during the restart. Uh, uh, sorry, could you repeat that? I didn't hear that. I said, I said you always talk about you know, to, to want to improve things, and even though the Rockets are the number one team defensively in the playoffs so far. Oh, I thought that's what you said. I wasn't for sure. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> What does that say about the job of guys like Coach Turner and, and the staff? Oh, everybody. Uh, yeah. uh, it starts with, uh, you know, obviously it's, the players are locked in. Uh, the staff is doing a great job and just the attention to detail. But, uh, you know, hey, players are the one that drives this forward and they're doing a great job of understanding what we'd like to see and uh, trying to get it better. Mark Berman. Hello, Mike. How are you? I'm Mark. Have you uh, have you had do you have any further thoughts on what happened in that that sequence with PJ and Schroeder, and, and have you had any conversations with the league or heard from them about that? No, I just wish they'd go ahead. Since we got practice in a few minutes, be nice to you know one way or the other just to let us know what's happening for tomorrow. Um, I guess they're busy in the bubble. I don't know, but. Uh, uh, I don't have any thoughts. I mean, yeah, everybody's solid, and then they don't make a decision. Thank you. Yeah. Jonathan Fagan. But given everything, a lot of it unprecedented that uh, preceded yesterday's game, did you have a real good feel of, of what would happen or how you guys would play? Well, I thought with, uh, with Russell returning, it gave us a jolt of energy, and just Russell himself gives us a jolt of energy. So, yeah, and then uh, – and having a couple of days off, it was kind of dragging there every other day for a long time, and no days off. Uh, uh, I thought it helped both teams. Uh, I, it probably helped us more than them. It looks like I don't know, but uh, yeah, I thought I thought we could come out with a lot of energy. So, how much uh, of yesterday is the standard that you now expect, and how much of it is hey, that's one of those games that went real well? No, we expect it. I mean, guys are locked in. Uh, we, there's, there's still. A lot of room that we can uh, cut out mistakes. We're still making mistakes, but uh, overall, they did. Uh, we did a great job of, of just you know letting the mistake one time and then moving on and not making it again. And uh, and them talking about it, talking among themselves. It was uh, the spirit's good, and uh, there's definitely a will to get it better. Adam Spolin. And Mike, when you're in a playoff series against a team that has a guy who's great on one end but really but struggles a bit on the other end, is it a goal to force that team into a decision of whether or not they can play that guy? Well, you know, um, I mean, you just try to look and see what weak points are and take advantage of them, what their strengths are and try to, uh, try to eliminate as much as you can. I, there's no – I mean, it's, it's really kind of simple. It's like what do they not do well, what do they do well, and – Try to defend against that, and you know we've got to take, we got to give them something. Let's give them, you know, what they don't do well. That's kind of the mindset. Thank you, Adam Wexler. Hey, coach. I know you guys haven't practiced yet. Uh, wondering if you have talked to the medical staff or Russell about how he's feeling today. And secondly, uh, so much focus on what he brings to the team offensively. How do you think he integrated himself on the defensive end with everybody in yesterday's game? Um. First of all, I talked to him. He says he feels fine, so I'm, I'm hoping that's true. Never know. Um, I don't expect any hiccups for tomorrow. Today's practice will be exceedingly light, so should just you know should feel better, even better tomorrow. Thought he did great. I thought the whole team was uh, locked in, and uh, you know again that's uh, that's a lot of energy you're putting out there, and you know and obviously he can play both ends, and uh, good. I mean it's um, he'll play better. Um, he didn't have a great game, but just him being here really helps bolster our spirits. Brian Bearfields. Coach, was there, was there a concerted effort to uh, that you all made on last night to get to the basket? Was that something that you all talked about during the off day, was being able to attack the basket again? Yeah, we, yeah. Um, yeah, we always talk about it and talk about it. And they know the three shots we won now. You know, I leave it up a little bit. They're gonna make that decision. I can't tell them, tell them afterwards. You know, hey, don't. You know, we try not to take any forced shots, or we try not to even 
force a layup. If it's there, you take it. If it's not there, you kick it out. And if uh, three's over, you hit it. If not, you drive it. And, I mean, it's pretty simple. We can't predict how a guy's going to guard you or how you feel or how you catch the ball. And so we leave it up to our players to make great decisions, and they did that last night for sure.